This PetroSkills Petro Academy skill module covers flow assurance and production chemistry at the core knowledge level. Impediments to achieving optimum flow rates in any oil and gas production system often may be resolved through the proper understanding and identification of system conditions and problems and the application of production chemistry principles. This fact is especially true in older fields that have developed unique problems over time. These impediments may be, but are not limited to, the presence of paraffins, scales, asphaltines, hydrates, emulsions, clay migration, fluid retention, corrosion, upset rock wettability conditions, and other typical oil field challenges. Both mechanical and chemical methods are available to provide remediation of well problems that have been carefully and correctly identified. Applied oil field chemistry applications have repeatedly proven themselves to be cost-effective methods to assure flow throughout a producing system. With regard to costs, it is often stated that problem prevention is the best, least cost approach when compared to remediation methods, when compared to addressing production problems that have been previously ignored. For example, proper identification of wellbore and in-plant scales can lead to a regular chemical treating process that assures compatibility of both wellbore and plant treatment methods and treatment chemicals. Similarly, proper identification of true formation damage conditions permits selection of chemical treatment of emulsion conditions that, if left untreated, allow high fluid viscosity condition to limit or even possibly curtail production. Many other examples prevail throughout a typical producing operation. A properly designed corrosion inhibition treatment plan in place will have an operating cost to protect rod pump rods, but the absence of such a plan in place will likely lead to a much more costly rod failure frequency. A third example might be to address conditions wherein capillary pressure principles trap fluid treatment volumes from being produced back after a treatment job, thus maintaining kill fluid volume effects in the reservoir. A properly identified problem set might be resolved with the application of solvent and surfactant chemistry to break the capillary effects, thus freeing up trapped fluids, resulting in increased production from a treated well. In most cases, having a production chemist on site will result in a significant reduction in flow impediments and assure flow through application of production chemistry practices.